Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my June TBR. I honestly can't remember the last time I did a TBR video. I want to say it was for February because I don't think I did a March or an April or a May TBR. So here we are. This is my June TBR. I want to say that I was in a reading slump for the past three months. I was still reading, but I wasn't reading as much as I wanted to. So I think I'm finally back into the reading mood because there's so many books that I want to read and I honestly can't choose which one. But most importantly, it is Pride Month. So I do want to share with you guys some of the titles that I'm planning to read for this month. And honestly, is I would have read these books any time of the year. Like, these titles have been on my radar for a very long time and in past TBRs as well so it's not just because it's June that I want to read these books I would have read them anyways but since it is Pride Month I wanted to share the love and read them and, and show you guys the books that I'm planning to read but anyways guys let's get into this video because I don't want to make it any longer than it needs to like I always do first I want to start with the books that I'm reading as audiobooks I don't have a physical copy for them because there are some books that I pick up from script or audible and that's because I realized that I read the most on my way to work. My commute to work it's about a 40 hour drive so I tend to listen to audiobooks in the morning. Not so much in the afternoon but in the mornings is when I get most of my reading done during the week because sometimes I don't read during the week after work. So my morning audiobooks are very important to me. So I want to start with the book that I already finished this month and that is Finland Donovan is Killing It by Ellie Cosimand. I really enjoyed this book. It's a mystery, funny, light, but also serious book. And I can't wait to read the second book. I'm just mentioning this one because I already read it and I finished it during this month. And the book that I'm actually reading now was recommended to me by my boss. So it is A Woman in Salt by Gabriela Garcia. I don't know much about this book yet. It is a historical fiction book and we follow four generation of women from Cuba and I'm really enjoying it so far. It is a short book. It's about six hours in the audiobook and 15 chapters long so I think it's going to be a fast read and this is actually the audiobook that I'm listening to right now. For June I had a few ideas of what I wanted to read but I didn't know which ones to start with so I took it upon myself to go into Instagram and ask some of you guys that follow me on Instagram. I sometimes do this there. Feel free to follow me there. But I went on Instagram and asked you guys to help me choose my June TBR. And the voting was very close to each other. But nonetheless, these are the books that won that round. So first, it was between Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Or Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall and Red, White, and Royal Blue won. So I'll be reading Red, White, and Royal Blue for this month. I'm actually very excited. This is one of those books that I'm going to listen to on audiobook because I don't have a copy. I don't own a copy of it, but script has it. I most likely will listen to it on my way to work or when I'm cleaning or doing anything else. So the audiobook is just perfect for this case. The next option was between The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune or Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Again, I want to read both of these books, but the first book I'm going to pick up from these two, it's The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This book has been on my TBR since it came out and a lot of people love it, so I want to get to it. We follow a case worker that works for the Department of magical youth i believe so it sounds like it's a very magical world and then he meets arthur and who works in this place i believe i really love these kind of stories so i am excited to actually get to this one finally because it's been a while since i've wanted to read it and the next two options i had was sweet hand by ng pelter or one last stop by Casey McQuiston. One last stop actually won and that's a book that I'm planning to read. It actually came out this month so I'm excited to also get to that one. I am probably gonna read 
one last stop first and then red white and royal blue i don't know why don't ask me i i'm not sure why i'm choosing to do that but one last stop has really caught my eye and i really want to get to that one soon so those are the audiobooks that i'm planning to read during this month and that's because audiobooks have saved my life as in like in the amount of reading that i get done throughout the month because i am a slow reader so listening to audiobooks has helped me a lot audiobooks are the best the next book i have is is not a book i was expecting to pick up this month but it is a short story and at the beginning of the year i said i wanted to read more science fiction books and i still haven't done it it's june already and i haven't read a single science fiction book i don't think i've read science fiction at all this is a short book and it is called all systems read by martha wells and i've heard amazing things about these um, i think it's like a five to six series books i'm not sure if she's done with them there's like five or six books already that have come out with this story and it's like super short i think it's less than 200 pages it's like 150 pages so it's a short story i think I can also listen to the audiobook which will help me follow along with it and maybe like not have such a hard time with science fiction as I do. I don't know much about the story. I think we follow a I love murder bot. I think we follow murder bot. I think that's her main character. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he does. I think he kills. I'm not sure but I've heard great things about this story, these books, so I want to get to it. Like I said, it's really short and I think it's going to be a good start to science fiction. The next book I have, it's a book that I'm very excited to read because it came out, it just came out this month and that is Better Together by Christine Richo. You guys, you guys know Christine. She has been on book two for a very long time and this is her second novel story. I actually did enjoy her first book book and my guess is that this book is going to be a lot better than that one because as writers we tend to progress i just i love the cover it has two covers this is the barnes and noble special edition but this book has been marketed as the parent trap meets freaky friday i believe not sure don't quote me on that but i mean the whole idea with the parent trap at the beginning is exciting we follow two sisters they are not twins or anything they were just they're just sisters they were separated growing up i believe because their parents divorced so or separated i'm excited to get to this one like i said i followed christine's journey while writing this project this book so i'm excited to finally get to the final results and i did enjoy her writing in the first book so i'm i'm pretty sure this book is just gonna be better but anyways the last book i have is a reread and that is the last magician by lisa maxwell i actually read this book last year but i didn't get to the second one and the third book actually came out a few months ago so i do want to get back into the story but i feel like i want to reread this one so i can finally read the second one and get to the last one the last one is so big it's like 800 pages but i'm excited to get to it but yes this is gonna be a reread and this is the only fantasy book that i have for this month and that is if i get to it i think i hadn't gone this long without reading fantasy and i honestly can't remember the last fantasy book that i read because i've been enjoying reading contemporary but those are all the books that i'm planning to read for this month it is going to be a very audiobook heavy month but i'm okay with that because that is the only way that I get to read most of the time. I don't have a lot of time to sit to sit around and read for hours, but I'm excited to get to all of these books. I will be blogging my reading throughout the month. So if you guys want to check that out, I will be having weekly vlogs. So you guys can go check those out and see what I end up reading. But that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.